Hello, my name is Richard Ball. This is Mariana. And I'm Kat. And we are part of the virtual Cahaba River Fry Down. Our team is doing a ceviche, uh, and we're going to walk you through the ingredients first and then the step by step on how to make it. So, the first thing that we're going to do is use a non reactive bowl to hold all of our ingredients. This is courtesy of Gate Small and Ceramics. Um, and as far as our ingredients go, we're going to use a white flaky fish. Today we are using a halibut. We have two pounds of halibut. We're also going to be using one full avocado. We're going to use half of a jalapeno pepper and a serrano. We're going to use a whole cucumber, which is chopped. We're going to take one and a half cups of freshly squeezed lime juice along with one whole lemon, which will be squeezed in there. We're going to use one and a half uh, tomatoes, which first you're going to seed and then chop. We're going to take half of a red onion and chop that as well. We're going to put half of the red onion in at the start. We're going to put the other half in at the end so it stays good and crispy. Um, we're going to be using cilantro to taste. We've got two teaspoons of salt. Um, and then we're also going to be using either tostadas as the vessel to scoop this up in or tortilla chips. And accompanying our ceviche today, we're going to have a homemade limeade made with water from our finest Cahaba River. Um, and honestly, this recipe is quite easy. I use 11 limes and um, I use about a a cup of sugar and then you can add in agave or whatever sweetener that you want to, to your taste and some cucumbers and you want to make it a little spicy a jalapeno. Pat? Like, thank you Mariana. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. And next thank we're going to show you the step by steps to bring this all to life. So step one for making this ceviche is going to be co to combine all of the ingredients. So the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and add in our spices there. Next, we're going to follow it up with the fish, accompanied with a little bit of our tomato. We're going to save some of the tomato, the cucumber, and the red onion, like I mentioned, until the end, just so that that way some of it stays a little bit more firm uh, to taste at the end there. Just something I've learned that I enjoy along the way. Now the most important thing for doing this, so whether you're using a bowl or a baking dish, is simply to make sure that your lime juice is covering the fish. So again, you know, if you're in a baking dish, just make sure that there's actually enough to cover all of the fish. So here we are adding in the lime juice to top it all off. And then we're gonna mix it up with our hands here. Just make sure everything gets covered up and mixed in appropriately. And then we're going to cover it with some saran wrap here. And in making this, uh, the cook times for this are gonna vary. It typically takes around 30 minutes to get it cooked. And that's gonna be on the rare side of things. You can let it go for all the way up to a few hours. Uh, the longer you wait, the more well done it's gonna be. So again, kind of looking at that 30 minute time frame would be like, rare for a steak it's going to be chewy or excuse me it's going to be soft the longer it goes it'll be a little more more firm there so the next step then would just be put it in the fridge so stay tuned step three enjoy your day the reason why i love making ceviche so I can finish a whole painting. You look great! The reason I like making ceviche is because I have time to make custom flower arrangements. And they do best in water from the Cahaba River. That was another hot day on the Cahaba. I'm starved. Well, it's a good thing we have this ceviche. That's right. All right, so the last step is to check your fish when it's a good opaque color. 
And then you're gonna add in some avocado chunks, a little bit of cilantro to taste, and we'll grab a chip each and enjoy. Very good.